Introduce yourself. Kanarev Ruslan Bayrovich. When were you born? I was born on February 8th of the year 2000. How old are you? 23. So you just turned 23 years old. Yes. Where were you born? I am from the village of Markovo, Chukotka Autonomous Okrug. Your nationality? Chukcha. This is the first representative of the Chukchi among the 700 prisoners of war with whom we have already recorded interviews. Do you have a family? Do you have a family? Yeah. Wife, son, mom, dad, sister. How old is the son? Three years. Three? Yes. When did you see him? A year and a half ago. Half. You haven't seen half of his life. Why is this so? First, I served one year in the draft. So, you've graduated from high school, studied somewhere else? I completed nine grades in the village, then went to the city where I attended 10th and 11th grade college. Then I spent four years studying for my major. Speciality? System administrator. Administrator? Underqualified. Why? I'm also an administrator. Yes. Windows? I'm a bad administrator. Or is it Linux? Windows? We've also studied Linux a little bit, but very little. The system administrator is our guest. What are we going to talk about? Tell about the last day of life in the occupation forces. The day of the capture? Yes. So. When? We were in a stronghold in a wooded area. There was no food or water? Yes, there was a problem with the water. There was a problem with delivery. We could not bring water. We were sitting there. Then they opened fire on us from artillery. Then the assault began, and about five people ran away. We three were left alone. One was wounded and could not walk. It's clear. So they ran away? Yes. Why didn't they help you? I don't know. We didn't even notice them leave. We were in the most extreme fighting position, at the very bottom, but they somehow slipped through, they were just gone. I got it. Yes. Did you stay? Who stayed? You and? Me. My brother and another soldier. Your own brother? Cousin. Cousin? You were mobilized together? Yes. You've been together all through the war? After Pavlovka. I was assigned to the airborne assault troops. I ended up in a company with them. There was a cousin and another wounded man? Yes, it is. How many were taken prisoner? Two. No, four. There were two more up ahead. A brother in captivity? Yes. He is here? Yes. Uh. I got it. All right. How did you get captured? They ran away and you were in the trench. What happened next? Your troops came, surrounded us and told us to surrender. They threw a grenade into the dugout. We gave up. It blew up. No one was hurt? No. And after that, you gave up? Yes. What are you here for? Mobilized. It's clear. What goals did you pursue while in Ukraine? I was given orders, I went, I was already mobilized. I mean, it's okay to go to a foreign country and kill people. Well, is that okay with you? I don't know. Well, they interpreted it differently for us. How was that explained to you? They explained that this was being done to protect the Russian people, since the Russian language was banned here and Russian speakers were being persecuted. This is what they told us. Do you care what happens in a foreign country? I don't know. I've never been interested in it at all. I was just mobilized. Have you been told we have fascism? No, they didn't say that. What else did they tell you besides Russian? They said he needed to be protected. Have you seen the population? 
Yeah, I saw it. Did you talk to them? Yeah, just a little bit. Did anyone thank you for coming? No. Were the people happy with the occupiers? They were neutral. Do you understand why they were neutral? If a person behaves impertinently, he is shot or taken somewhere as a prisoner. Is there any logic to these words? Yes. If you tell a person with a machine gun to their face what the hell they came here for, a person with a machine gun, such as yourself, might not like it. Do you agree? Yes. Yes. And no one, thanks you, thank you, liberators, for coming here and destroying our homes and towns. Or did they? No. No. So you came to defend the Russian language. Were you in the army when the war started, when the dead and wounded arrived at your military unit? No, a military unit. And the Space Force? Okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. Did airplanes fly to war? There were no airplanes flying where we were. No airplanes were flying and you really didn't know what was going on here? I know what they said on the news. Have you tried to find out what's really going on? I was almost not interested in this, I repeat. You had little interest in it. How did the Chukchi end up as part of the Russian Empire? How? The Russian Empire came to our land. To expand. Yes. That's how we ended up in the empire. They conquered. Looks like it. But it's true. In the year 1778 you were captured, bribed your elders, and announced that you would now become part of the empire. Yes. That's it. And then you assimilated with the Russians. Yes? I don't know. You have become Russians. What's your name? Ruslan. Ruslan. What is the most common Chukchi name? Mostly people were called by their last names. There were no first names. Last names? Yes. Okay. What's the most common Chukchi last name? Chukchi last name? Dolgansky. How? Dolgansky, more often I've heard things like Dolgansky? This is similar to the Eastern Lamet people. It's clear. Russia conquered you, at least he knows, because others say their people wanted to join. Nothing like that, they were just conquered. Can you tell us something about Chukotka? I am interested, I have nothing to do with the Chukchi. Which is what? Life. Living conditions? They used to be mainly reindeer herders, and those who lived on the seashore practiced hunting. Did you live in a yurt, if that's the correct name? I didn't live myself. It's called Yaranga. A what? Yaranga. A Yaranga? Yes. I have not lived, but there are those who still practice reindeer husbandry. They live in Yarangs and herd reindeer. I got it. Deer breed. Deer are raised for meat? Yes. I got it. Did your wife want to let you go? No, of course not. Are there a lot of Chukchis at the front? Honestly, I don't know exactly how much. How much approximately? I don't even know. The Chukchi and many other nationalities live in Chukotka. We recruited everyone, so to speak. Everyone was taken away you yourself answered the people didn't want to go, they were taken away. Maybe some wanted it and some didn't. I can't know about everyone. I agree. What happens next? Who will win this war? I don't know. What do you think? I really don't know. You're a military man, you've seen war. Yeah, I've seen some. So what? I really don't know who will win. What's the wife going to say? I don't know. 
Hello. 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 My name is Dimitro. I am a journalist from Ukraine. I am interviewing, or rather, talking to your husband. Are you going to talk to him? Yes, I will. I need your consent to record and publish this conversation. Yeah, okay, I agree. Talk, but do not say where you are or who you are with. Hello, my love. Hi. How are you doing? Everything's fine, but Kolya is sick right now. Is he sick? Yes. Strongly? Relatively. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Waiting for the exchange. I've been looking, I've been waiting. Yes? I knew, I had already found this program, I had seen it, I was hoping you would call me like that. I kept my promise. Yeah. Okay. How are the parents? Okay. Fine? Yeah. Okay. Tell them I'm fine. Okay. I'll call and tell you. It's okay. Here's the situation. I'm waiting to be exchanged. You should contact the military recruitment office to have me exchanged as soon as possible. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. How's it going in there? Everything okay? Yeah, it's okay. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. I'm learning. Yes? Yes. Successful? Yes. All right. I'll be going into town next week. It's good. Try your best. <coughs> Produces. Are you fed well there? Yes. Good and tasty. <laughs> Amazing. This is the main thing. Yes. Everything is fine with me. Is our son recovering or not? He just started getting sick. Yes. I understood the situation. In fact, I was sleeping and thought it was some kind of joke. Then I remembered. Fine. Something like that. Such situation. Fine. Like this. We searched everywhere, I monitored everything. Didn't you call the military unit? Yes. And what did they answer? They don't say anything, it was expected. They can't say anything. Check in with them regularly. Yes. Wait. Yes. What is the name of the channel? Name is Vladimir. Vladimir Zulkin. Yes, I know, I found everything. Stay tuned for the video. After everything that happened. Have you watched other interviews? Yes, I have watched it. You were interested. Sorry. Do you know that I should ask some question now? Yes, I saw. Which question will you choose for yourself? I don't know. Well, I don't know either. You heard the questions. I only watched two videos. It was about a girl and a mother. That's all. I didn't look anymore. Let's choose one of these questions. What did I ask the girl? I don't remember the video about the girl. I remembered the video about my mother. What was I asking? So why did you let him go? I didn't let go, they just took them from us. How did this happen? What do you mean they took it and took it away? They told us to pack our things and they took them, then they were taken to the front. Is that what they said? They picked him up and took him away, so they had no choice? There was no choice at all. No one came for them, the police simply came for them. Have you been taken away? No, but it has happened to others. Others. Others? This has happened to others. Do you like living like this? Us? Yes. No. No? No. When will your king die? 
What? When will your king die and all this will end? We do not know, cannot know, cannot know the fate of a person. I'll ask it another way, who will win this war? We hope for a common peace. I cannot say that either side should win. After all that people like your husband have done, there will be no common peace. We will destroy your Russia. By the way, your husband is a marauder. I didn't know. Now you know. Watch the interview. Okay, I will take a look. Did I ask this woman anything else? She just made some kind of scandal because she couldn't answer that question, that's all. Yes. I realize that. I can't even remember what issue of this interview is, but it's not recent. What are you guys talking about on the news? Victory? I don't watch the news or TV now. What are you watching then, if it's no secret? I rarely watch news, only on Telegram. Telegram has different types of news. You can, for example, watch Solovyov on Telegram. I have never watched Solovyov. What news are you watching? I became very interested. I was watching Ria Novosti. RIA Novosti is the same as Solovyov. They talk about victory, you are doing well, we do not abandon our own. They say it's all good, yes. We don't abandon our own, although he was abandoned. There are no bodies, everything is fine. All clear. As always. Uh, yeah. Finish? Yes. Honey, goodbye, I'm fine. Bye dear. I love you. Kisses. I love you, we're waiting for you. Bye. 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 Kisses. Satisfied? Yeah. They found out what happened to me. I said so right away. That's good. She'll at least take this video interview and come. And she'll be doing something with them. Is there anything else interesting to add? Nothing. No. By tradition, our prisoners of war turn to their fellow citizens. If they want to. Should we go to war here or is it better not to? You can address them publicly. I don't know what to say. Nothing. Nothing to say. Taking into account the fact that it was the first time we had a representative of the Chukchi for an interview, I will make a small historical excursion in the course of the conversation. Do you mind? No. Maybe you'll learn something interesting yourself. Could it be? About history? Yeah, because you don't know her very well. Wait a little while. Why do the Chukchi live so little? Do you know the answer? This is me reading Wikipedia. No. That is, I didn't come up with this. The average life expectancy of the Chukchi and Eskimos is short. Doctors see the cause in the fact that Aboriginal people abuse alcohol, smoke a lot, eat poorly, and now also use drugs. Is that true? Yes, there are some people who have a weak resistance to alcohol, it is addictive. They used to live a long time, and our village grandmothers were noted for their longevity. Well, maybe. What else is interesting? The indigenous population of the Chukchi Peninsula is 12.7 tenths of a thousand people. The total number of Chukchi is 15.8 tenths of a thousand people. Unfortunately, you are dying out, and on top of that you have been sent to war. Why is Russia doing this to everyone? I don't know. Population 15,767. Minus the number of war dead. I think it's actually even less. 
Я думаю, что это еще меньше. Something like that. I thought it would be more interesting, but it didn't turn out to be more interesting. But let's note for the sake of history that there are warring Chukchi. What bad things have Ukrainians done to the Chukchi? I don't know. Nothing. You see, we have done nothing wrong, and they kill us Ukrainians. Thank you. Your country is good. Or not so much? I don't know. I was just living. What would you like to do? I don't know. But you're an unqualified administrator? Yes, bad. Can you reinstall windows? Yes, I'm trained for this. What did the soldiers talk about among themselves while sitting in the trenches? Nothing. They were like, holy shit, this is a nightmare. Difficult? Yes. Is ours a good shot? All right. There are a lot of dead bodies, I understand. In general, there were a lot of wounded and killed. We destroyed your 155th brigade when they attacked Ugleader, whole columns of marines were burned. They were assigned to the 155th brigade. It was the 5th tank brigade. But it was destroyed. Yes. There's even a video on YouTube. There's video of them driving and blowing themselves up on mines. Yeah, on mines. You watched the interview and didn't realize that you shouldn't come here, that you should leave? They said to bring the guy to the front. Water, food. They sat there and no one could get to them. Did you take the initiative? I was told to go. How much water did you carry? Two liters and a meal. How long were they in the trench? I don't know, but we got there and they said they had probably been without new food for a week. They starved for a week without food? They had their own food, but none reached them during the week. Why was this? They were probably not familiar with the area. Ghibli? I didn't see any bodies along the way. Sprout? It's possible. Consistently sent out and no one could find it? Looks like this. Did you have walkie-talkies when you went? Yes, to communicate with each other. I got it.